I really don't want to tell you. You know, I don't, I want to, I want, I don't want to lay my burden on you. That's See, right. and in his mind, he's counting them dollars. Oh yeah. That's right. So you just keep pulling. Come on, you look, baby. Look, we, we're we're in this together. We're in this together. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're, we're in this together. That's right. Your problems is my problem. That's all he wants to hear. Oh, mm -hmm. Once he hear that, he'll take the phone from his ear. Yes. <laughs> Your problem is my problem. Yes, that's all I want to no, know. Anyway. After he get the phone back. That's true. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Oh, hypocrite. Hypocrite. Amen. Listen. There is a wicked There man. is. A wicked man. A wicked man. That hangeth down his that head hang sadly. down his head sadly. But inwardly. Inwardly. He is full of deceit. He is full of deceit. Full of, full of, deceit. of tricks. Full of cunning maneuvers. Full of hypocrisy. Full right. of devices. That's right. Casting down his countenance. Casting down his countenance. And making as if. Making as if. Not that he is that. That's right. Not that he is that. That's right. Making as, as if, if he heard not. He heard not. Whether he is not known, he will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. Before you know it, mm -hmm. your credit is no more. That's right. You had a bank account. That's right. Just like you had faith. <laughs> That's right. That's you had true. a bank account. Amen. He bleeded you. That's right. Out of your money, mm -hmm. bleeded you. Out of your credit, bleeded you. Amen. Out of your emotion, bleeded you. That's right. Out of your self decency, bleeded you. That's true. Out of your own respect, bleeded you. That's right. You can't even put food in your own children's mouth because his mouth got it. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Go ahead. Go ahead. A man's attire. Um, listen at this. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes 19 and verse 30. A man's attire. An excessive laughter. An excessive laughter. And gait. And gait. Show what he is. <laughs> That's right. You got to be able to recognize, recognize his character. That's right. Check his track record. That's right. See how many women he took to the cleaners. Amen. See how many is credit less. That's right. See how many now is bankrupt because they have no account. That's true. That's something. Always excessive laughter. Excessive well, she interpreted that as we always have a good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. That money gets fallen. That's right. <laughs> Bankrupt you. Amen. Sucker. That's right. Take not pleasure in much good cheer. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes 18 and verse 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take not pleasure. See, that's why folk hate the Holy Scripture because they just get into yes, every curve, every that's nook. Right. It, it gets into every corner. That's right. It says those things that you don't want it to say. Amen. And it deals with those things that you rather sweep under the rug. That's right. But what's done in the dark, the eternal Father says will come to the light. Come to the light. That the deeds might be made manifest. That's right. Listen. Take not pleasure. Take not pleasure. In much good cheer. In much good cheer. Neither be tied. Neither be tied. To the expense thereof. I want that scripture to just kind of summer, you know. <laughs> Abusing mm -hmm. for money. That's right, that's right, that's right. There's a difference if a person need help. <laughs> but to act like you need help. Amen. Because you ran up on someone who's a cheerful giver. <laughs> that's right. A cheerful giver. <laughs> that's right. They are the giver, and you are cheerful as a result of it. Amen. <laughs> to sit back and deliberately 
abuse a person wallet because you act like you in need. Be not made a beggar. Still in Ecclesiastes 18, now at verse and 33. And then to go back in the wings mm -hmm. and call your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the money. I got enough for both of us. Yeah, That's I got right. it. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I got enough for both of us, you know. Damn. That's right. And sometimes they'll say, I, I, I couldn't use a man like that. And she'll be like, that's all right. That's you got true. to use some men to get, a, get, a, get along in this life. She will make thee a laughing stock. Still in Ecclesiastes 18 and verse 31. What? She will make thee a laughing stock. In modern day terms, she will make thee a sucker. That's right. Because after she robbed you and duked you, she go back talking about you, how dumb you are, and how you keep giving her this, and giving her that, and giving the other. If when she got that low using mentality. That's right. And when you say no, I ain't giving you nothing else. Now, before you reach the, the, the time of no, mm -hmm. she already going to see that the giving does slow down. That's right. So she ain't going to wait till you leave. Mm -hmm. Somebody else can already be in the wings. That's huh? right. Oh, yes. That's right. If, if the brother was already given, come here, Gary. If the brother was already given, mm -hmm. and he decided to, look, I, you know what? This, 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 this ain't happening. You know, and I, this, this ain't gone too good. When she starts seeing the change, starting to decrease, before he leaves, she already going to be rapping to somebody else. That's right. Huh? So why? He decides to put his money in. You hold that. Don't keep it now. I go to my son, the Lord work in mysterious ways. He ain't working that right now. <laughs> I'm out of right, I said. Now, while he's putting his money away, right? because he said it ain't working, while he's on his way, give me one at a time. She already got somebody already doing this. That's right. Oh, so you decide not to give me no more? Keep putting. What's the matter? I mean, what, what's going on with our relationship? You change your mind? Don't you love me? I thought you loved me. That's right. Well, I understand if you don't want to give me no more. She ain't going to press you. You know why? She already got another sucker. Amen. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. <laughs> Do you understand? That's right. She already got another sucker. Yeah. That's why she don't, you don't give much fight out of her mm -hmm. on some cases. That's you right. know, on some cases, some of them off to tell you, listen, I want your money. That's true. That's true. I want your money. Amen. Mm. I respect the person who's not a user. Right. And it's not, if a brother got a mind to get married, you don't want to marry a materialistic junkie. A woman that's not a materialistic junkie know how to appreciate whatever and everything you do. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. She will appreciate everything you do. That's right. But a woman who's just want to suck you dry, you I don't care what you do. That's right. It's never enough. Never enough. Never, enough. never satisfied. That's right. Now always want the faucet turned on. Always. So the flow can just stay steady. That's right. You never can satisfy her. That's right. Are you listening? Take not pleasure in much Give good chapter cheer. and verse for this. In the book of Everybody Ecclesiastes. all right? Yes. Oh. This is good, God knows. Amen. I want to teach you, television viewers. I want to teach you. That's Never right. Never mind shouting, sit down. Ne <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Never mind shouting. Never mind that. Sit Amen. down, I say. I say, sit down. That's right. Glory to God, you better get this in you good. Oh, but yes. Just like some of you women go around using men, some of these no good men go around and using you. That's right. Wine Drink. and women. What? Now in the book of Ecclesiastes 19 and verse 2. Listen at all this. Wine. Hold Don't read it so quick now. Amen. Wine and when women, women will, will make men of understanding to fall away. Wine and women. Let the men say amen. <laughs> Let's say hoorah. 
Big hoorah. <laughs> wine and women. Now, why says wine and women? Because that, that, that's a strange drink. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's a cocktail, Jack. <laughs> that's right. Because within the wine is a spirit. That's true. Hmm? That's right. Now, within the wine is the spirit. But what kind of ingredients the woman bring? Honey. Honey. That's honey that's mingled in the wine. Go ahead, brother. That's the sweetness. Go ahead. So you already intoxicated by a mm. uh, liquid spirit. Go ahead, brother. So she enhanced your intoxication. That's right. Through the subtle usage of words. That's right. That's why the book says wine and, and women. Women. Will make men of understanding to fall away. Go ahead, bro. Hello. Hello. Peter. Go ahead, man. Go Yo, ahead. This, 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 this is Pete. That's right. How you doing? This, this is Mary. Amen. Now, before he found out who it was, this, this, this is Pete. How you doing, Pete? This is Mary. That's right. Mary who? You know, Mary at the job. Uh, oh, how you doing, Mary? What's up? <laughs> That's right. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Amen. Well, Peter. <laughs> Fall away. Fall away. Peter, won't you come over? You know, I got a candlelight dinner and got some wine. That's right. You know. And um, let's have a little friendly gathering. He's right there. She just, before the phone even clicked. Ding dong. <laughs> That's right. huh? Go ahead, go ahead. It just got just. almost at the button. <laughs> That's right. And he's right there. Amen. Setting him up. Right. How? First, present a change of atmosphere. The purpose of the change of atmosphere is to relieve the tension. That's right. So how will I use this atmosphere to my advantage? Mm -hmm. She will use it to her advantage by reassuring him or instilling in him to believe in her. That's right. But to do that, we need a subtle atmosphere. Amen. Let's get some wine, some right music, fix you something to eat. Relax your shoes. <laughs> That's right. Because she see he's a man that got a couple of dollars. Mm -hmm. Relax your shoes, you know, sit back, chill out. That's right. And he's saying, man, ain't no woman ever treat me like this. Ain't no woman treat me like this. Come massage your feet. That's right. You ain't even asked for it. <laughs> That's right. She really don't want to do it. She's like. And when you look, and you look up at her, she's like. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You get what I'm telling you? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Wine and women. Change of atmosphere is what Balak used to try to alter the speech of Brother Balaam. That's right. Not only did he change the atmosphere, he changed the atmosphere and kept offering sacrifices. He kept offering. Trying to get Balaam, the prophet, to cuss Israel. That's right. But because Balaam was focused, he told Balak, how can I cuss whom God have not cussed, and how can I defy whom God have not defied? Right. Far from the top of the rock, I see him from the hills, I behold him. The people should not dwell alone, nor should they be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob and them in the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, Go and ahead. let my last end be like his. Behold, I shall see him or not now, and shall look upon him or not die. A star going to come out of Jacob, and a scepter going to rise out of Israel, and smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Seth, and he's going to possess Edom. The atmosphere didn't change him. That's right. But some of us, yeah. when we hear that sound, many there be. Now it's too. That song is so true. <laughs> that's the many of us get duped, it's too late. Too late. Pockets is dry. You go in there, ain't nothing coming out but sand. That's right. Many there be 
Listen. Now in the book of 1st Estrus, chapter 4 and verse 26. What is it? Yea, many there be. Yea, many that be. That have run out of their wits. That have run out of their wits. For women. What do you mean? Many there be that have lost their mind. For women. That's right. Run out of your wits. You your lost wits. your mind. That's right. Lost all control. Amen. Amen. That's true. You can't handle it. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. Do you hear what the book says? Yea, many there Yay, be. Yea, many there be. That have run that have out of run, their wits. Ran out of their mind. For women. For women. And, and become servants. And become servants. For their sake. For their sake. Many also have I, perished. I have, I have counsel with men who knew they was being used and told me they was being told me they didn't even care. Amen. Could have helped themselves. That's right. All they told me was, I got the feeling. <laughs> hey, got the feeling. Uh, 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 just making all that noise. That's right. What kind of feeling they got. Amen. They, they had the James Brown syndrome. James Brown. That's right. By this also. It's he, sad to he, know you're being used. And you don't, I mean, you won't tie into her. That's right. Especially when she tell you straight up, yeah, I'm using you. Amen. And you don't care? My Lord. Why should she care? That's right. Listen. Now in 1st Estrus chapter 4 and verse 22. Listen at all of this scripture, all of this scripture. That's right. This is the condition. That's right. By, by this also ye must know. Some women go around using men because their mama did it. Yeah. And they had a good teacher. That's right. Some women go around using men because they're influenced by their friends. Mm -hmm. Some women go around using men because they're influenced by nobody. They just want to do it. Just want to do it. And then some of them do it because of the atmosphere they came out of. Their sister do it. Mm -hmm. The other sister do it. The other sister do it. That's the right. other sister do it. Their mama do it. The aunt do it. The grandmama do it. The great grandmama do it. The great 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 grandmama do it. Amen. It's a family affair. It's a Amen. family tradition. That's right. They had Users Day. In <laughs> the family, we gonna have Users Day. That's right. Amen. Just go through a long line of men That's collecting right. money and interest. And whenever the other man is about to untie himself, before he's gone, she already done linked somebody else. Amen. Before you know it, your house is paid off, your car is paid off, he done bought you everything. Amen. And not because you love him. That's right. Because you made a sucker out of him and enjoyed it. And enjoyed it. Money, That's money, right. money, money. That's right. Money. Amen. Are you listening? By this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. You better give chapter and verse for this. First Esther chapter 4 and verse 22. You better give chapter and verse for this. First Esther chapter 4 and verse 22. By this ye must know. You need to know that women, that women have dominion have rule over you. How? More subtle. More cunning, That's right. more manipulative. That's right. Some of them. Some of them. Cause some of them just as green as a lantern. That's right. Some don't know when they're being used or abused. That's true. Some don't know when they're being complimented or insulted. That's right. That's right. Some men and women, about as dumb as a brick. <laughs> that's right. And that's dumb. That's dumb. Huh? That's right. That's dumb. Oh, yeah. When you become dumb as a brick, you're just there. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Amen. What is it? Amen. That would make a woman use a man to drain him out of money. Yeah. What is it that'll make a man use a woman to drain her out of her money? Do ye not labor and toil? Look at this. Look at this. Do you hear? Do you hear the minister? 
Still in Esther chapter 4 and verse 22. Do you not labor and toil and toil and give and give and bring all and bring all to the woman? To the woman? That's right. Yea. Yea. A man taketh his sword. A man take his sword. And goeth his way. And go his way. To rob and to steal. To rob and steal. To sail upon the sea. To sail upon the sea. And upon rivers. And upon rivers. And looketh upon a lion. And look at a lion. And goeth in the darkness. And go in the darkness. And when he and when he hath stolen. And when he's and he what? And when he hath stolen. When he stole. Spoiled. Spoiled. And robbed. Robbed. He bringeth it to his love. Amen. He even go look at a lion. That's right. That's right. Lion growling. Lion growling. He like, my, my wife wants your hide. That's my, right. my girl wants your hide. That's right. Ah! Amen. That's, right. That's, That's right. true. That's right. That's something. Amen. Sucker. Sucker. Oh, yeah. That's something. I have no respect for no man and no woman on the planet that we use any human. That's right. You don't even respect yourself. That's right. Amen. Good woman won't use a good man. No she way. will value him and appreciate him because she will have system to realize he's a rare thing. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Do you hear all this scripture? Yea, a man taketh his sword. Taketh his sword. And goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers, and looketh upon a lion, and goeth in the darkness. And when he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, yeah. he bringeth it to his love. He robbed? Robbed. Robbed. Spoiled. Some women raise their children to steal. That's right. The children of today's society is being raised almost totally backward. That's right. I find myself in the different states of America, children in my office meeting with me because they left being the mother. They're arguing with their mother because their mother bring a man in the house and the man is trying to approach the daughter and the daughter trying to talk some sense in the mother and the mother flipped the script That's right. and want to blame the daughter. That's right, that's right. Here's the man approach the daughter and the mother flips the script and want to blame the daughter for the man approaching her. Amen. Because the woman is too stupid to realize that the man sees there's more than one piece of bacon in the house. That's right. You women Go ahead. to have a child or children, Amen. and you got in mind to get married, uh -huh. you can't think about yourself. That's right. You must think about the well-being of your child or children. Amen. Face the fact, if you got a daughter or daughters, and you got a mind to marry, and your daughter now is of age where her body is starting to mature, face the fact whether you want to accept it or not, That's right. it's, two, it's four breasts in the house. That's right. And two wounds. Amen. And four legs. That's right. And two bodies. Go ahead. And neither one of them are his. That's true. Something. Are you listening? That's right. Go ahead. You got to look past him singing. <laughs> That's right. Look past that. Way past that. Well, he reassured me. <laughs> Amen. He told me he loved God. That's what Jim Jones said. That's what he said. Jim Jones had the whole congregation told he loved God. And he was running with the women and the men. That's right. In fact, he convinced the men of his congregation to give them their sons. That's right. But so many of you watching me, you're so hot. Go ahead, brother. So your brains is cooking. 
Amen. A hot mind. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes 23 and verse 16. Do you hear it? It's all in the book. That's right. Call me mean anything you like. Amen. This is the book. It's the book. The holy book. That's right. The book of scripture. That's right. The book of law. Amen. In the book of Ecclesiastes 23 and verse 16. What is it? A hot, a mind, hot mind is as a burning fire. Is as a burning fire. It will never be quenched. Never. Never. It's always jumping. You can't get nothing through to it. The moment information gets through it, it disintegrates. That's right. Won't take it. That's right. Can't contain it. Contain Can't it. tell it nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you listening? A hot mind. A hot mind. Is as a burning fire. You don't take your child and dump it in the hands of some man because you're talking about marrying him and you don't hardly know him. That's right. Have your child have him taking her to a mall. That's right. Taking your child or your daughters to a mall. Are you that big of an irresponsible, church-going, Bible-toting, head-wrapped, long-dressed fool? Amen. That ahead, you would God. drop your child in the possession of some brother because he go to church? My Lord. And you don't know him? Don't know him. Who would be that irresponsible? Go ahead. Don't know his background. Don't know his track record. Amen. Go ahead, man. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Hot mind. Hot mind. Flames don't have stability. No, they don't. Unless you contain it. That's right. And you must watch it. That's right. Because the nature of a flame is not to be contained. That's right. So if you got a hot mind, hot mind. sparks will jump. Yes, it will. And you may have problems containing it. That's right. You don't drop your children in the arms of the unknown. That goes That's for true. you too, brother. That's right. You got a mind to marry a woman and you got a son. And all of a sudden your son is almost tall as you and big as you. Mm. Well, you know, you stay here, you stay here with Susan, you know what I mean, you know? I'm gonna take care of some business, you know, because I'm thinking about marrying her, Junior. Think yeah. about marrying her, you know, so. But Dad, I don't know. That's all right, you know, she's gonna be your future mother. Mm. All of a sudden, Susan walking around with huh. just a t-shirt on and it's 85 degrees. That's right. And Junior looking. Junior looking. Man, that's gonna be my mama. That's right. Got that fool look. That's right. You understand? Amen. He got that. <laughs> he got that fool look. That's right. Hey, that's gonna be my mama. Amen. Someone said, "Well, how can he lost that? That's not that man. That's not that boy's mama." Right. That's not that. That's not. He know that's not his mama. He knows that. So he don't know. Oh, he know that's a woman that my daddy like. <laughs> that's right. That, that's all it is. This is a woman my daddy like. Amen. And he's checking her out. Checking her out. Now, once he give it a full look, how do you know what kind of look she's giving him? True. You know, you, you must look like your daddy. That's true. That's right, brother. And, uh, uh, you know, you want to help me make up my bed? Yeah, you going... <laughs> I think it's making up the bed, pulling the blanket, and looking back at you. And you like, <laughs> went right back to the fool look. That's right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Acting like she dropped something. Oh, you know it, he's right back at the fool look. That's right. Pop call home, hey, June, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you need me to come back? No, 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 take as long as you want. You can make it all, all the runs you want, you know. That's you right. ain't got to rush back. How y'all two getting along? Let's come along, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right bye. Amen. <laughs> you don't want you to talk to him too long. That's right. <laughs> what is the risk? What is the reality the risk? that man don't like to even consider that the woman that is not 
with your wife, but yet you got in mind to marry her. Junior is looking at her. That's right. And she may mount up on that young stallion. Stallion. That's right. And every time daddy's at work. That's true. Giving her a kiss goodbye. That's right. When he go, here come the fool look. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it's the fool look. That's right. Remember, viewer. That's right. That's the way some of you are right now. Right Zoom now. in on this. <laughs> It's the fool look. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because a lot of you is knocking up your daddy's girlfriend. That's supposed to be your stepmama. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Waiting to be babysit. My Lord. He act like he's sick, yep. like Tamar and Abner. That's right. You had an incest case in David's household. That's right. King David, a man after God's own heart. One named Abner and the other named Tamar. And the son was in love with his sister. Until the book of scripture says he acted like he was sick. And acting like he was sick, the servants came around. What's the matter? I'm sick. That's right. Inquire of my father that he would allow my sister to bake cakes. That's right. See, he saw some cakes. That's right. Bake at his own hand, at her own hand. That's right. He was acting. Mm -hmm. This goes to show you what extremes some are willing to go through just to get what they want. That's they right. want to act like they're sad, act like they they're ill, shit. act like they're in need, just to drain you and get all they can out of you. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 13 and at verse 1. Yeah. And it came to pass after this that Absalom the son of David had a fair sister. And? Whose name was Tamar. Tamar. And Amnon the, son of, David, the son of David loved her. Loved her. And Amnon was so vexed. He was so infested. That he fell sick for his sister Tamar. He wasn't really sick. He hypocritic. That's right. Anything to get this girl in the room. Anything. And remember, Tamar was a virgin. Back in that Which time when you were a virgin, you wore a cloak that was multicolored. That's right. Which was a sign of your virginity. That's right. Yes. And Amnon thought it hard for him to do anything to her. He thought it hard at one time. That thought didn't keep it up. But Amnon had a friend. He, Ab you got a friend. <laughs> That's huh? right. That's Abner right. had a friend. Whose name was who Jonadab. Who had the same spirit he had. It was Jonadab. The son of Shemias, David's brother. David's brother, which made him his cousin. That's right. Listen. And Jonadab was a very subtle man. And he's you want to do wicked, somebody can't help you. <laughs> That's right. You want to dupe somebody, con somebody, manipulate somebody, you just don't know how to do it too well, somebody can help you and somebody teach you. Help. That's right. Teach you how to be slick and crooked. Mm -hmm. And you are practicing upon somebody, but then it may be the wrong person. That's right. Listen. And he said unto him, Why art thou being the king's son lean from day to day? Hey, why are you walking around here all messed up every day, man? Wilt thou not tell me? Tell me what's up. And Amnon said unto him, I love Tamar, my brother Absalom's sister. I love my sister. I'm in love with my sister. Mm. And Jonadab said unto him, Lay thee down on thy bed. And hey, he hey, listen, listen. This is what you do. This is how you do it. Man. Lay thee down on thy bed. Lay on your bed. And make thyself sick. Act like you're sick, man. That's right. Let's act like you're sick. You and I know it ain't the real deal, but she ain't got to know it. That's act right. Act like you're sick. And when thy father cometh to see thee. And when King David comes. Say unto him, I pray thee, let my sister Tamar come and give me meat. Give me some meat. And dress the meat in my sight that I may see it. I want to just look at her cook it. That's right. I want to look at her prepare it. Mm-hmm. Real quick. And eat it at her hand. I want her to feed me. That's hmm? right. That's feed right. me. My Lord. This is how infested he was. This is how sick he was. So Amnon lay down and, and made himself sick. And Notice he made himself. Made himself sick. Are you listening? Amen. He acted. He acted. Hmm. 
I ran up on a lot of actors in my time. Amen. Folk act like they crying and all that crap. That's right. Bat in the eyes, ain't nothing coming out. You know, like one of them old Hollywood movies? That's right. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Ain't nothing coming out. Nothing coming. I have to look and marvel. Sometimes I say to myself, how long are they going to keep this up? <laughs> Until I have to interject and tell them, all right, fool, that's enough. <laughs> that's right. right away, they are quickened. My Lord. And they come back to themselves. Listen. So Amnon lay down and made himself sick. And, and when the king was come to, to see him, Amnon said unto the king, I pray thee, let Tamar, my sister, come and make me a couple of cakes make in me my a sight. Couple of cakes in my sight. That I may eat at her hand. I want her to feed me. Then David sent home to Tamar, saying, Go now to thy brother Amnon's house and dress him meat. Now she was an innocent victim yeah. of a cruel brother. That's right. Listen. So Tamar went down to her brother Amnon's house. And he was laid down, and she took flour and kneaded it, and made cakes in his sight, and did bake the cakes. And she took a pan and poured them out before him, but he refused to eat. And Amnon said, Have out all men from me. And they went out every man from him. And Amnon said unto Tamar, Bring the meat into the chamber. Come on in. Come in, come in here. We don't want to eat in the sitting room. That I may eat of thine hand. Come on in the chamber. That's right. The place where I plan to get you. Mm -hmm. Come there. That's right. Listen. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made. Still an innocent victim. Still. It wasn't that two people consented to do anything. Right. And then after something happened, the other cry raped. That's right. Because they hear somebody coming. That's right. Listen. And Tamar took the cakes which she had made and brought them into the chamber to Amnon, her brother. Then what? And when she had brought them into him to eat, he took hold of her. He grabbed her. And said unto her, come lie with me, my come sister. Come lie with me, my sister. sister. And she answered him, she nay, answered my brother. Him, no. Do not force my me. My brother, don't force me. For no such thing no ought to be done in Israel. No such thing ought to be done in Israel. Do not thou this folly. Don't do this folly. And I, whither shall I cause my shame to go? Now, you going to do this to me? Where can I hide? That's right. Where can I hide? Because if it's broken, everybody going to know it. Everybody I got know. to tear my garment, then cover myself in sackcloth and ashes. That's right. Which make me a public example. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And as for thee, thou shalt be as one of the fools in Israel. Yes. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak unto the king. Now, when you're really gullible and greedy, you can tell somebody whatever you need to tell them. They ain't hearing you. That's right. They done tuned you out. Listen how he tuned her out. Now, therefore, I pray thee, speak unto the king. Yes. For he will not withhold me from thee. Yes. Howbeit he would not hearken unto her voice. Ain't going to pay her no mind. But being stronger than she, forced her and... Forced it. And now, hold it. Forced. Forced her. Not willing. Right. Forced. When there's force, there's some struggle and fighting involved. That's right. When there's willing, you can't say that he forcing you like, stop. Stop. Go ahead, get off me. Get stop. Off. Stop playing. Stop. My Lord. Stop. <laughs> when I say stop, it means stop. <laughs> then the moment he do something else. <laughs> stop. Stop. My Lord. Please. Very plain. You really don't want him to bother you? Get off me! That's right. Get That's off right. me. Get your hands off me. That's true. You'll be all, get off me. That's right. Or, you better get off me. <laughs> Is that right? Amen. Or you'll be, get off me. <laughs> you think he in the spirit. <laughs> you all fold him up. Fold him up. That's right. Oh, say, the vector shall he fold him up. <laughs> That's right. But you all that grinning and grinning. that tickle, that tickle, <laughs> bouncing around and around. What man, <laughs> what man gonna take you serious? That's right. You gotta be a fool to take yourself serious. Amen. Listen. Howbeit he would not hearken unto, her, her, unto her, no her voice. Mind. But being stronger than she forced her. Forced her. And lay with her. He raped her. 
That's right. You can't talk about someone rape you and there was no force. No force. Somebody to rape you, somebody, the other party's fighting. That's right. You lay down willingly, you throw your leg around him willingly, you got your arm in the back of his head, pulled it to your mouth, ain't no rape involved. Rape. Then when you hear somebody coming, Away. oh, oh, rape, rape, oh, he tried, rape, he tried to, yes, he did, he, <laughs> he tried to rape me. Please, you liar. Amen. Some men is in jail today now because of a liar. That's right, that's true. You that are watching, you get this. Amen. But being stronger than she forced her. Forced her. And lay with her. Lay with her. Then Amnon hated her exceedingly. After he used her, then he hated her. Hated Why? Her. He got what he wanted out of her. That's right. The same way. After she used him, she hate him. That's true. Why? She got everything she wanted out of him already. That's she right. had turned on him and hate him. He had turned on her and hate her. That's right. That's mighty low. That's something. Listen. So that the hatred wherewith he hated her what? Was, greater was greater than the love wherewith he had loved her. That's exactly what happens. After one use the other, they hate you. It's, their hatred is greater than all the love they taught. That's right. My God, the level of disrespect is unmeasured. That's right. Listen. And Amnon said unto her, Arise, be gone. Get out. That's right. What else? And she said unto him, there is no cause. There ain't no cause for you to send me out publicly now. This evil in sending me away is greater, is greater than the other that thou didst unto me. Because now I'm going to be made a public, a public, public example out here now. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. And it's happening right today. Right today. Here, go back to the book of Ecclesiastes real quick so I can knock off. Everybody all right? Yeah. Back in the book of Ecclesiastes 26. So you that are watching, look at your homes. You that are here, look at your homes. What type of uh, family structure do you have? What kind of house you're raising? What kind of atmosphere do you have? <laughs> what are you teaching your children? How are you teaching your daughters how to conduct themselves in the presence of boys? How are you teaching your sons to conduct themselves in the presence of girls? What do you tell them? That's right. I tell my boys, no, don't be kissing on no girl. Mm -hmm. No. Uh -uh. Oldest son, only 13. What about kissing no girl? Don't worry about no girlfriends, no nothing, but God in school. Amen. God in school and hear me. <laughs> That's right. God in school, hear me, obey what me and his, and his mother tell him, and call it a day. Call it a day. Got a lifetime for girlfriends. That's right. Tell my daughter the same thing. Don't worry about no boyfriends. Mm -hmm. I mean, when your children grow up, they, have, they, they get to the age where they go and start showing interest towards boys and girls. That's expected. Oh, yeah. No parents should walk around and be naive and think it's not going to happen, but the job of the parents is monitor right. and tell them what not to do and what to do. That's right. See, the problem with some of you modern parents that are watching me now, you say, I don't have good sense uh, because as a parent, I should, you know, I actually hear parents say, well, you shouldn't be telling your children what to do and what not to do. My Lord. Can you imagine a parent That's thinking that. like that? Use a sick parent. That's right. Hey, your child at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and you're going to tell me as a parent, I should not be telling my children what to do. What We're raising them, taking care of them, providing food and shelter over their head by God's permission. Yeah. You're not fit to be a parent. That's right. Only thing you're good for is producing babies. That's it. That's Are you listening? Amen. My God, I want to crack the whip of the scriptures upon humanity. Oh, yes. You went to sleep on the job. Amen. Here you got some fathers want to raise their children up in the truth. Mother don't want them to be in the truth. Fathers don't That's want right. their daughters wearing some tight pants and hot pants. Mothers would be like, what's wrong with it? Mm -hmm. Other girls is doing it. Let them be like other girls. If you got a mind of God, you don't want your daughters to be like, like every other girl. That's right. What kind of foolish talk is that, you churchgoers? Look at the so-called churchgoer house. Go the mother and father that go to church every Sunday carrying Bible, draped in black. That's right. Your daughter's got low-riding jeans. Why? You bought them. Bought them. 
Your daughter's got a toe down the fingernail painted. Why? You bought it. That's right. Your daughter got all them fake weaves in her hair like a group of string beans. My Lord. Why? You gave her the money to buy it. That's true. Your daughter got lipstick. Why? It's your lipstick. That's right. Your daughter got big earrings. Your daughter look like a regular neighborhood hoe because oh, yeah. you the one dressed her and you the one gave her that prostitute like freedom. Amen. Look at your son. Your son outside with his pants hanging it's below that. where his butt starts. <laughs> That's right. It's pathetic. Go ahead. Your behind stops here. That's right. His pants starts here. That's right. His pants starts here and stop there. That's true. And some of you grown men in your 20s and 30s are walking around showing your behind Amen. in public. In the public. What kind of example are you to a dog? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Why would you offer your butt to men? That's right. Everybody see you. I'm a man. That's I got right. my pants pulled up, Jack. That's right. Why would I want to walk around men? That's Make right. you see my cake. That's right. <laughs> Walk around behind just hanging out. Go ahead, just stand there talking. Just stand Bunch there. of butt men. Just stand there, butt just hanging out. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, brother. Can you imagine that? I mean, why would you just sit there with your behind just hanging out your jeans, man? Go ahead, brother. I mean, think of it. Amen. Good teachings. Well, you know, we learned that in prison. Men that are in prison that are real men keep men off their behind. That's right. Go ahead. God, I'm down to five minutes. Oh, Time that went by quick. Quickly. Amen. Look at you. Go ahead. Teens, 20s, 30s, 40s. Pants hanging down below your behind. Below. And you girls will, load, will wear jeans so when you sit down, they automatically drop. That's right. And your thong come up. And what's down in your jeans, your behind can be seen. That's right. And you are deliberately sitting. Right. Arch your back up so your behind can come through the chest. Everyone can see it. Right. Like someone going to drop coins in a fountain. <laughs> low riders. Then when the rapists come. Go ahead. And ride low on your jeans. Now you ought to be in jail. Cover your behind up. That's right. You parents, straighten up. Go ahead, brother. You grown men in the streets of America, Amen. straighten up. Amen. You walk around with your pants. That's, that's crazy. Right. Amen. Grown men, jeans all the way down here, and then put a belt on. What's, put a belt on. What? <laughs> What's the sense? And then you got young sisters in their teens, twenties, and thirties. You know what they say? I like it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. You's a fool. Oh yeah. Your mind is warped. That's right. Go ahead. My time has gone, television viewer. Go ahead. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. That blessed place
You have been watching the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle and Servant of God, Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The church's phone number, street, and website addresses are now on the screen. We would like to hear from you. And don't forget to listen to our radio program that may be airing in your area. Please call or write us for a current listing of our radio stations. Peace be unto all. The proceeding was a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The opinions expressed were solely those of the sponsor.